Approximately 10 years ago, I was a bank manager in Philadelphia. And during this time is when I found God and realized that there was life besides myself. My first day on the job, my supervisor had this photo on her desk. And I immediately seen an angel. I seen the head, I seen the wings, I seen the gown, I seen the hair, I seen everything. And I was so amazed. My supervisor told me she got the photo from a customer who decided to take a picture of a storm that was coming in. And she didn't see the angel at the time until she got it developed. Once she got it developed, when she seen the angel, she gave it to my supervisor as a gift. So this was my, my favorite picture. I gave it out to all my bank customers, gave it to my family, gave it to all my friends. I put the photo next to my Bible and prayed with it. It was, it was truly a miracle to me. I moved to Port St. Lucie, Florida, and I decided to take it out of the frame in a glass and stick it inside of a book just so it wouldn't get ruined during the move. And during the move, somehow, some way, I lost a photo. I looked through every box, every book, I looked through everything. For six long years, I did not have this photo. I was very upset and depressed because I felt like maybe I did something wrong that the angel left me. When I moved to Boca Raton, Florida, it popped out of a book. And soon as I seen it, I cried, I hugged the picture, I prayed, I thanked God. It, it was another miracle. The angel came back. I decided not to be stupid this time. Let me scan it on my computer. This way I'll never lose it. I'll never have to go through that again. Once I scanned it into computer, iPhoto came up. I did not do any Photoshop. I did not move anything around. I didn't delete anything. I didn't do anything. The only thing that I did was I color corrected. The tint, the color, the shadows, and then out came this picture. And in this picture, I clearly see an angel holding a little girl with long blonde hair. And I see the long blonde hair. I see the ears. I see the nose. I see the, the right arm. I see the angel's sword, I see other faces and other hands, and this is all from the sun coming through the clouds. To me, this was even more of a miracle, and if I wasn't sitting down, I probably would have fell over. And the new angel picture came to me a month after I started working with William, and it was only a few days after he took his first steps that I received the picture. And now when I think about it, I never lost the angel. I never lost the angel. The angel was always by my side. It just means that when I was living in Port St. Lucie, I wasn't in the right place. Since the angel came back to me, I have had the best of luck. I have found my calling. I have been able to help people. I have seen countless miracles. The timing ha has never been better. And... I live life every day. I live life every day. I'm happy to wake up. I'm, I'm happy every moment of the day. I don't get frustrated. I don't get angry. Because there's no room for it. And ever since then, I, I give out both angel pictures to everybody that I know. All my students who I teach, family, friends, people who I meet. I always carry around a couple copies because you never know who you talk to. You never know who may have a problem that may need a, a little inspirational boost. And the best part is that these pictures are real. I mean, this is just the sun coming through the clouds. I feel so blessed and I feel so lucky. And I pray twice a day and I just try to help people. I try to help people find themselves, which they will find their own angels and God. I believe this is definitely a miracle and a sign just to believe in your own angel and to believe in God and, and realize that there is a God. And if this is an angel, if this is Jesus, if this is Mary, if this is your next door neighbor, it doesn't matter. What matters is that this is a sign and a message that something exists beyond us. And you have to have belief in that existence and live your life to fulfill your own existence. So pray to your angel and to God, but only worship God.
And it doesn't matter what name you call God because it all goes to the divine essence which is inside our own soul.